are working on a um, still life chalk um, drawing. So in the middle of your table, you're going to see a purple box. Um, you also have your fruit. It may be a pear, it may be an apple. Um, it may be, it just depends on what I have. Now here's the thing. We are only using these um, still life setup for the shape of the fruit. We are not looking at the color because you may see that you have a gold apple um, or a red pear. So I don't want you to think about the color that you're looking at. I want you to look at the shape of the fruit. So please make sure that you're not touching it um, so it doesn't roll off on there and making sure that we don't, um, don't try to eat it. I know you may see some bite marks. That's because my own two kids um, thought they were fruit. So again, we are only looking at the shape of our fruit. We are not looking at the color for your supplies. So that's going to be in the center of your table. I'm going to push that back. And if you are online, I will have a picture uploaded that you can use a picture of our fruit. Um, you're going to have a black piece of paper, which is going to be horizontal. There is going to be a red cup. In the red cup is a white oil pastels. Please make sure you're getting your own oil pastel. This is what we are going to use to write your name and your code. Remember, if you're second grade, dash two, third grade, dash three. So make sure you have your code correctly along with your name. Your name is very important, more important than your teacher's code. So make sure you do have your name. Once you get that, keep your white oil pastel and you're going to flip your paper over. So again, we are looking at the shape um, of our fruit. So if you're looking at the pear, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm just gonna use my pencil to point out. There is a circle and there's like a bump on top of the circle. So that's the two shapes we're gonna be going for. Now, even if you draw those two shapes with your oil pastel, the chalk we're gonna use will be able to color, a color over a line right here if um, you need to have the circle with the hump instead of drawing the full shape. And then we'll have our stem. Another shape is your apple. So apple is pretty, um, it's like a sphere, okay? So a, a little indention or dip down at the top is about the only difference. So we're gonna start with the pear. Um, I'm gonna put it on the left side of my paper. So I'm gonna start at the top right underneath, right around the stem. So there's a bump and then a bigger bump. And then it's kind of more smooth on that side. So again, I'm using my pencil to point out, if you don't see, technically there's, this is the circle and then I've added a hump on top. So if you need to take your oil pastel and draw a circle, then add the hump. Again, we can color over that line um, with your chalk. And then there's the little indention and my stem. So there is your pear. Now the apple, obviously the apple is more staying within the circle shape. I'm gonna put next to it. Um, and then as I'm looking at it, I see that the stem is kind of farther in the apple. It's kind of smaller on the bottom. And I farther in, so the stem I see is more kind of into the middle of the apple. So that's all we're doing with our oil pastel. So please make sure that gets back in your red cup. Now the next supply, after I give directions, I will be telling you to get is a basket. It um, may be a color basket, but you'll see chalk is in the basket. You'll each have your own set of chalk. Now, there are a variety of colors. Again, we are not looking at our fruit for the color um, that you have in front of you. Now, I do want you to use the pear that I have here. So you can see that the pear has a darker shade of orange and then a lighter shade of yellow. So we're gonna be using this pear to add the color of our pear. So you need an orange, I think this is, there's two oranges, a dark orange, a light orange, and a yellow. So those are the three colors you're gonna start off with. Um, on the right side, I can see that's the darker, and then obviously the middle would be your middle color, the lighter orange, and then the, so the darker, sorry, the darker orange here, the lighter orange, and then the yellow. So that's what I'm gonna try to stick to. Now with chalk, you gotta be careful. Um, you may need a paper towel or something in your hand to wipe it off. And um, you wanna be careful because if you get it on your fingers and then you touch your paper like this, it's gonna leave little fingerprints everywhere. So try to use either the paper towel 
to hold down your paper. Um, and then you're just going to color it and stain on the inside. I don't want to go outside. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to switch to the lighter orange. And I do want to color it in nice and dark because it'll blend better. And then I'm going to finish this ooh, yellow. Again, trying to stay inside my pear. So, take my three colors, put them back, make sure I wipe my fingers off, and then we're going to take a paper and we're going to tap to get all the dust off. Please don't blow it in someone's face. Now, you're going to use your finger, not your hand, just a finger, and I'm going to start blending the dark over to the lighter area. And it helps fill in those little spots that I missed. If it goes over the stem, no big deal. We're going to kind of go over the lines. Okay, again, be careful. There's, wipe that off. See, and I got a little smudge mark on my thing my fingers touch. So, okay, now the apple, we're going to be using more of the um, greens. You can't really see it on this one. The greens. So, this one doesn't technically have a lighter to darker shade. We're just going to pretend. So I'm going to get my, and I did put a red in there and a pink, but we're not going to use them. So I've got dark green, light green, and yellow. So just kind of thing what I did darker to lighter. So take my dark green, add a little bit on one side of my apple, switch to light green in the middle, more light green. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in there. And then add a little bit of yellow. Okay, so again, put those three back. Fingers are clean, get my finger, start in the dark, move over to the light. Again, if I go over my stem, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do after that. Okay, wipe that finger off, pick it up, tap it off, not. Okay, now, before we over, go over the lines, we're gonna add the background. So this is where um, your, okay, in your basket, you may see blues, purples. So this is what we're gonna use for the background. And you may see a gray, we'll get to the gray. So you can use all three of them or pick a blue, pick a purple, it doesn't matter. But these are your choices for the background. So when we do the background, I'm gonna start with a darker blue first. You wanna lay it on its side so you can fill in a bigger area. And again, you gotta be careful. If your fingers are messy, you might wanna use your paper towel to hold it down. And we're going to fill in, I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge, but I do wanna get as close to the fruit. It's kinda hard to get all the way to the edge. As I get close to the fruit, I do wanna like use the tip, but. Did that with blue, so I'm gonna switch to the other blue, see what it looks like on top. Ooh, I like that. So I'm gonna add the lighter blue on top, and again, you can add the purple. Or you can do purple first, then blue. So I just like the lighter on top. Okay, so we're gonna leave that like that. We are not gonna smooth the background. I like that rougher look. You're gonna take your gray or black, and we're gonna create a shadow. Now, when you think about light, and shadow. If you have your shape, um, if you see there is a shadow on my hand on this side, the light is shining from this side, which creates a shadow on the opposite side of it. So we've got to pretend that the light is shining from this corner, from the left corner. So if my light is on the left corner, my shadow is going to be on the opposite. So on this side, I'm just going to do a kind of a squiggle, but it has to be touching the fruit, not going over there. Um, of a gray or black. Mark my fingers, and I do want to blend that one a little bit, not a lot. So, once we have got all the color on, make sure your fingers are clean, we're going to go back to your oil pastel, and you're going to add that line again. For the shadow on the opposite side of the shadow there's going to be 
a light. So you're going to see a white chalk. Now be careful, not a white oil pastel. We're not using that. It's in your chalk. So the white chalk, because there's shadow over here, we're going to add a little highlight with your white. So I'm just adding a little, this kind of thing, a little squiggle of white. And I really don't want to blend it in because I want to be able to see it. So that's again chalk. Again, you have to wipe your fingers with your paper towel. Make sure all your chalk is in your white basket. Make sure your oil pastels in your red. Please don't get those mixed up because it will ruin um, the art for the next person that's coming. Um, then you're going to take your chalk and we're going to talk about where it is going.